Bookmark Manager Tutorial Raindrop.io for Beginners 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a great bookmark manager and this is going to be a bookmark manager tutorial, but specifically the program we're talking about is Raindrop.io. So before we go further, obviously we need to know what is Raindrop IO and what it's actually used for. So Raindrop is, you could say, all-in-one bookmark manager. So basically on every browser, every single thing, wherever you are going to bookmark it, it will conclude every single thing on this application or that page. And the good thing is that you can find this application on your website that, uh, you know, you access it on. And it's also on your iOS and Android and every other platform out there. So, you know, every single thing that you do and you bookmark, you're going to see all the data and statistics of it or that website on your Raindrop IO bookmark. So we're going to be talking about this in great detail and great depth. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole detailed analysis about this program. So obviously when it comes to Raindrop.io, you're going to come to Raindrop.io, which is their URL. Once you come over here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to sign up. You can also download their app if you want to, which is obviously, as I stated, for your Android or iOS. But obviously, we're going to sign up. Before that, we can see this program is designed for creatives and built for coders. So Raindrop is the best place to keep all your favorite books, songs, articles, or whatever you come across while browsing. You can organize anything you want with ease. It's a great design system and uh, you know you have your information backed up you can be personal or do it great for teamwork it's safe and secure and there's no limits and it starts from zero dollars basically it's totally free which is pretty incredible right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign up okay and for the sign up process obviously it's going to ask you your email and stuff so you're going to go ahead and put that in now when it comes to your email password, you can use any designated email that you have for yourself, but um, obviously go with the one that you're most in use with because on this, it's going to create a backup for Raindrop on this email. It's not specifically going to create it on your Gmail drive or something like that, but it will create a backup for this email in the dashboards of uh you know range off so once you've signed up as you can see quickly you're going to head over here into this section and as you are here they're also going to ask you to install the browser extension okay and to obviously add bookmarks we're going to go ahead and add the browser extension which is extremely convenient because the browser extension allows you to you know just open your add-ons from here and bookmark any website that you want to bookmark and uh, it works on google it works on edge safari uh it works on firefox and a whole lot of other platforms so obviously it depends on you on whatever platforms you want to go with so currently i'm using opera which is directly affiliated with uh you know uh, chrome so i'm just going to go with this i'm going to click on add to chrome click on add extension and as you can see it's going to add it to my opera there we go so now we can see new power up unlocked, explore new features Raindrop brings to Opera and just, you know, use the save button and all. So you can see it gives you all the data and details about uh, Raindrop. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm just going to bring Raindrop into the main pins. Yeah, there we go. So here's Raindrop. And as you can see, if I open it up, Raindrop IO Chrome Web Store, all in one bookmark manager. You can leave any note that you want. Uh, you can even find the URL of the store. So as you can see, I'm on the Chrome store right now. So it gives me the URL that I can save for myself for later on if I want to, obviously. Now, obviously moving on, what we are going to be doing is we're going to head straight into the bookmark section over here. So let's say I'm going to, uh, there's this random site, right? So I'm not going to leave any note. I'm just going to save this as a bookmark. Now, once I come here, I'm going to click on import bookmarks and there you can see we have just imported a bookmark and you can upload bookmarks and stuff. And for that, you can upload different CSV files, different PDF files for yourself, which is also pretty incredible. So 
moving on there's also a lot of other things that you can discuss when it comes to working with the, the software of yours so let's say once you're over here in your apps and stuff you can go ahead into your account over here and you can go into your settings okay now once you're in your settings there's a lot of different things that you can work with first of all there's a theme you can go with a lighter theme you can go with a darker theme that depends on whatever your taste in uh now moving on you can also change your font size and change different types of preferences for yourselves okay now the important uh part of this is the backups okay and the backups is somewhere that is sacred okay because the backup is where obviously all of your data is stored and uh, this is the main place that you're going to need to be at mainly now Moving on, there's also integrations and integrations are a really helpful part for when it comes to a bookmark manager because you can use all these different uh, editor choices that uh, basically allow you to uh, easily work with other programs. You can also go ahead, click on more 2000 integrations and choose the different integrations. But yeah, more on that later. Now, over here, you can also create collections. So let's say I'm going to make a collection over here and it says new collection. So let's say I'm going to call this collection work. I'm going to click on enter and here it's going to make this collection for me. Now, obviously in my work collection, you know, I can add different work bookmarks for myself. So let's say, um, you know, there's different kinds of uh, websites that I work on. You know, I could go with LinkedIn, I could go with Fiverr, Upwork, etc. But for example, I'm just going to come over here on this Chrome website. Now over here, you're going to choose the collection. Obviously, my work collection is where I want to import this. Give it any tags you want to. Add it to your favorites if you want to. Add some highlights in it. And then finally, you can click on save. Okay, I'm just going to remove it. And then we're going to add it back into work. Okay, and there we go. So now it's added in work. We're going to come back over here. And once you are in work, obviously, let me just shift these tabs. And there you can see Raindrop.io Chrome Web Store. So you can find this website in my work section where you can, I can highlight it if I want to. And it takes me straight to that because, you know, in case you forget these useful websites that obviously are really useful and really helpful to you, you can just store them here in your raindrop.io and things should be pretty much good for you and uh, then obviously moving on you can sort all these different bookmarks that you have in a list and you can also export this list okay you have this export option up here now you can export it into you know some excel or csv file that you have and uh, that is also a pretty helpful thing for you to do because you can store the Excel or CSV file in your computer, your system, or wherever you want to. And moving on, you can also add different URLs separately. Like you don't necessarily need to go ahead and bookmark different things from different websites. So that obviously depends on you on how you want to approach this. But yeah, that's pretty much about it when it comes to bookmarking and using Raindrop IO. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. And that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.